How are we all? You're very welcome along to tonight's Anfield Agenda News Roundup video. There's not going to be that much transfer talk today. We will be looking into the Bobby Firmino situation a little bit. And of course, I'll be asking you guys for your opinion. Before we get stuck into it, though, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. And also drop a like on the video. If you want to join us for the watch alongs this season or any of our live content, the Anfield Agenda Twitch channel is where you will find us. Manchester City on Saturday, Strasbourg on Sunday, and then, of course, all roads lead to Craven Cottage for the game against Fulham next weekend. Link to that, by the way, is in the description of this video. Right, let's get stuck into it. A little bit of a reflection first. We The other day, we spoke about Jermaine Pennant and how it had been, I don't know, so many years since he was at the club. Today is the anniversary. Three years since Liverpool signed Harvey Elliott. Three years. Where has that gone? It does not feel like Harvey Elliott's been at the club three years now, and... Wow, time really does fly. So there you go, a little blast from the past. Three years to the day that Liverpool signed Harvey Elliott or agreed to deal with Fulham for Harvey Elliott. So there you go. I know it went to a tribunal and all, but still, three years. Where's the time gone? Uh, let's move on to an injury update today that Jurgen Klopp gave us. All of us were wondering, would we see Alison Becker fit for the charity shield, the community shield against Manchester City on Saturday? Unfortunately, it looks like the game has come a little bit too early from Jurgen Klopp has said he will be ruled out of the game. But he's very confident that Alisson will be back between the sticks for the game against Fulham next Saturday, which is grand. I mean, having Adrian in goals, never something I look forward to seeing, if I'm being honest. Uh, unfortunately, Cuevin Kelleher is also injured, so he can't step up and take the number two spot, which is usually his. So we've been a little bit unlucky that we're going into this game against City and we're having to rely on Adrian between the sticks. But... I don't really take this game too seriously one way or the other. The Community Shield, it's for money being raised for a good cause. And after that, that's pretty much where my interest stops. I know there are people that would want to get an early psychological blow on Manchester City. And I'm not against that either. But if we win it, if we lose it, it's not going to make much of a difference to me. I don't count it as a trophy in itself. Um, so Alisson's ruled out. Diogo Jota, though, he's had no pre-season. Zero. And, of course, he won't be available for the league opener against Fulham. Um, and that makes Jurgen Klopp's selection maybe a little bit easier for the opening game of the season. It kind of reverts back to will it be Firmino through the centre, will it be Nunes through the centre. And look, we'll talk about that in tomorrow's uh, preview video for the Charity Shield, or Community Shield. Sorry, I'm showing my age here. Um, so yeah, Diogo Jota, I mean... This is going to have a knock-on effect, I suppose, into the season. He picked up a hamstring injury while away with Portugal. I mean, we've covered this a couple of times on the channel already. And he hasn't been able to recover from it in time to do any pre-season work, really. So he's going to be playing catch-up. And I would suggest it may even be, yeah, after the World Cup in November, perhaps, where we start to see Diogo Jota really get up to speed because... You know, he has no preseason. That's what preseason's for to get the fitness up, to get your preseason minutes in and get you ready for the start of a busy campaign. So, not ideal for Jurgen Klopp. And that brings us on to the Roberto Firmino situation. So, there's been contradicting reports over the past, I suppose I can say, 24, 48 hours. Uh, Pedro Almeida last night put out a tweet that said, Roberto Firmino to Juventus is very... Actually, do you know what? I'm going to read out the actual tweet to you while I, while I have it here in front of me. Roberto Firmino to Juventus from Liverpool is almost done. The offer of the Italian club is clear. €22 million Euro from the player. Uh, and then they go on to speak. He goes on to speak about Arthur maybe making a move away from Juventus. But conflict that with James Pierce's report today that said that Liverpool have received no offer from Juventus for Roberto Firmino. And then, of course, Jurgen Klopp would have no desire to move him on. I don't know where we are with this one. I mean, I want to believe that there's nothing to it, but I can understand why Juventus would be interested in Bobby. Um, And yes, they could wait a year maybe and get him for free, but... In the grand scheme of things, if it was 20, 25 million euro, it's not the end of the world for, for a club like Juventus or in the Champions League. So I don't know where I am with this. I don't know if I believe the interest. I don't know if I believe the offer. I don't know if I believe Liverpool are going to rebuff the offer because there's been more stuff put out there, mainly from the Italian side, if I'm being honest. I think Calcio Mercado had a... a piece out that said and again I'm kind of paraphrasing here they said something along the lines of Roberto Firmino has instructed his agents to make the move to Juventus happen now ultimately what happens when I do these type of reports or when I speak about these type of things is I get one or two things somebody in the comment section telling me that the club would be foolish to sell Bobby Firmino or other people that will say that Bobby Firmino we've seen the best of him and that the club may look to move him on where do I lie on this I'm a little bit confused because 
if we're to believe that Jurgen Klopp wants to keep Bobby around because he believes he will get back to his best, and that's what we've heard from Klopp about pre-season, Bobby's looked really sharp and trained and all this kind of stuff. Well, if that's the case, why aren't we trying to tie him down to a new deal? If, if we believe that he's getting back to his best, his injuries are behind him, and that he's a really important part of our squad moving on, for me, it seems a bit confusing as to why the club wouldn't look to initiate giving him a new deal. Unless Bobby has perhaps said that, look, happy to see you out this year with the club, then I want to move on to past years new. In which case, I could perhaps understand it. But it feels a bit weird to me that in one breath we're saying he's good enough, and then in another breath, perhaps not good enough to give him a new contract. That's where I become a little bit on the fence with all of this. Bobby's my favourite player at Liverpool Football Club. Bobby does stuff that other players at the club can't do. He can also be one of the most infuriating players we have at the club. But for me... Look, I looked into possible replacements that Liverpool have looked at and I've read a few articles on it and I've delved a little bit deeper on it and three names are coming up. Martin Terrier, we've spoken about him before. Um, he could be a replacement for Bobby next year when Bobby moves on. But at 25 years of age, if we were to sell Bobby now, certainly he'd probably be in the bracket of somebody who we'd look at. Uh, one name that actually shocked me that kept coming up was Matthias Cunha. Um, used to be of her to Berlin, now of Atletico Madrid. Apparently his pressing stats are something to behold. I won't even lie since I have watched much of him. So that was another name that came up. And the third one, a name that we've heard before, a name that many Premier League clubs have been linked to, uh, that is Alexander Isaac of Real Sociedad. He signed a new deal before the Euros with Sociedad, I think maybe increasing his bio clause. But interest in him has cooled because he didn't have his best season last year and um, I think that Sociedad thought he was going to really kick on after the Euros and his breakthrough season the season before hasn't really happened so the article I read suggested that Liverpool may almost have a free run at him if he was the option so with that in mind I want to know what you guys think is the best course of action and really like look at it from every angle look at it from the business angle Obviously, our heartstrings are involved in this because, as we said many times before, a Bobby goal hits different. I I think I would rather sell him than lose him for free next summer. But ultimately, I would rather Bobby plays really well and gets a new contract. That would be my preferences from the proof that he still has what it takes and for the club to give him a new deal. I, I never liked the idea of Liverpool losing players for free. Um, it wasn't going to sit well with me if it happened with Mohamed Salah and it wouldn't have sat well with me if it happened with Sadio Mane. And there is the other factor, of course. It would be a lot of upheaval for the club to lose Sadio and Bobby in one window. And I understand that as well. So let me know where you sit on all of this, my friends. What do you think is the most likely uh, end to this Bobby Firmino situation? Or do you think it's much ado about nothing, which I can completely understand as well? So look, that's pretty much where we are tonight. As I said, there wasn't a whole lot of news. Um, any other injury updates that we get for you guys, we will, of course, let you know. But the club do play the cards close to their chest on a lot of this stuff. Tomorrow, keep an eye out. I will be doing a preview video ahead of the Community Shield game against Manchester City. My predicted score, my predicted lineup, all that kind of stuff as well. I'm just about to go over now and do a live stream with Mr. Paddy Murphy on our Twitch channel. If you ever want to catch us over there on a non-match day, Half past eight is usually the time where uh, we go live over there each night. So hope to see you guys soon. I hope that you're enjoying your summer. I hope that you're like me and you're looking forward to the uh, Premier League getting back underway next weekend. Again, I want to thank you for your continued support of the channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Drop a like on the video. And yeah, enjoy yourselves. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.